Hello, everybody. Um, okay. I'm just gonna go straight on to this. I think if you've read the title and if you've read anything else that's been going on about this controversy, you know exactly what's going on. Nintendo on has been getting money off of YouTube videos from the Let's Play community that involve their games. <clears throat> I will be addressing multiple problems with this, and I will be addressing some complaints people have raised about this. Argument one. They are doing this because of it being against fair use. To that I say, first of all, yes people, Nintendo does own the rights to their certain games. If they've made the games, then yes, they own the IPs to it, etc. Here's where my issue comes in. With a website such as YouTube, which is where this is going on with, the fair use claim is completely inconsistent. There are certain videos that will fall under commentary, parody, etc and will fall under fair use and even transformation and the video will get removed from YouTube. Yet there are also videos of even less than 30 seconds and the video will get removed from YouTube anyway. Some people have said fair use can only apply to 30 seconds of the material, can apply to the whole video itself if it falls under certain critiques, and some have said there is no fair use. With YouTube it is completely inconsistent and I think for YouTube itself considering how broken the flagging system is the fair use system is war is completely broken. So I don't even consider that. Second of all, a let's play counts as commentary. You are commenting on a product similar to how news stations do it. And I've even seen some footage that's gone over 30 minutes and yet they make a living off of it. I will be talking about the money thing shortly, but essentially, with YouTube, the fair use claim is complete bullshit. Because it, with something like YouTube, they don't know what fair use is, because they will constantly change their minds saying, Oh, you can only use 30 seconds of this, or, Oh, you can't use it at all, etc. So, that's one issue with it. Number two. They are doing this because they aren't making a lot of money off of their console, the current console of the Wii U. Be honest guys, a large percentage of gamers probably play games more on a console than on a handheld. I know not everyone does this, hell I play games on the handheld too, but most gamers nowadays have console games more than handhelds. Now during the start of the Wii U's launch cycle, the sales have been doing poorly. Sorry about the stuttering there. But essentially it's been doing very badly. Just look up Wii U sales and, you, and you'll find, hey, these sales aren't doing too well. However, this is one of my issues with it. If they're honestly going after us for that reason, that is pathetic. They're making a shit ton of money already from the sales of the Wii and from the sales of the 3DS. And technically DS as well because I know they still sell that. And it's like they've introduced so many things with the 3DS and Wii U. So frankly, I don't see the big reason why they would go after us for that reason. They're making enough money as is. Oh wait! No, they're technically not. If they fired one of the original CEO and brought in Satoru Iwata as the new CEO, minus etc. Minus, you know, Reggie. Now, this is something I want to say. Getting onto the subject of money. People are going to bring up, Let's Players have no right to make money off of their videos. That is complete bullshit for two reasons. One, you'll complain about this, but when f certain news reporters who don't even get the license to talk about it, talk about it, you suck their dick and say, yeah, this is great, and don't even care about the monetization. But the fact that it's Let's Players that are doing it, and I'll mention the hypocrisy of Nintendo and Let's Playing in a, in a bit as well, but essentially, with YouTube, YouTube is the most unlikely place you're going to make a career out of. And here's why. You get paid a penny per click. Yeah, that means if you're a very popular user, that you'll get a lot of money. But if you're not, and you get targeted, I'm pretty sure Nintendo's like, Yay, we're making a lot of money. We're making the pennies and the dimes. And yeah, bitch, and this will pay for our bills. No. No, it isn't. And there, you will know why? Because it's chump change. <sighs> Sorry. It's, it's chump change. I can understand it if they're making millions of dollars, but for the most part, they're not. 
And I know you're gonna say, well, it's better than having their video flagged. You know what's a better idea? Not doing it in the first place. Because you know why? This leads to this another part of it. But I want to finish this point first. Nintendo is doing this for chump change. You're making millions of dollars, probably a month even, from the sales. So why do you want cents? So you could buy a hooker or something? Very unlikely. Now I'll talk about this point. Okay. Yes, the Let's Players don't own the footage. Technically, they own the commentary over it, but yeah. My point is that you're making jump change off of this. Here's the ironic thing, though. Does anyone remember Operation Rainfall? When we, a Nintendo eventually gave in and gave us three games, they had a contest to showcase Let's Playing Xenoblade Chronicles. And now they're going around saying, yeah, we're gonna make money off of you guys! Even though it's of your product that you yourself did a long time ago for one of your own games, and you encouraged people to do it. Hypocrisy? And here is probably the biggest and most ironic point I want to bring up. And that is... This is accomplishing nothing. You know why? I have seen so many people complaining about this. It's not even funny. And they're leaving Nintendo and going to somebody else, like Microsoft or Sony, because of what they're doing. I know some people are going to say, Well, Microsoft did the same thing! So what are you to talk? I know that. And I'm not defending them for that. However, that does not excuse this. It's still an issue. You got hardcore fans leaving this left and right. Go look on the comments of any news article of this, and you'll see what I mean. And it's so funny that Nintendo is doing this supposedly to help people. No. If you're losing your audience, it isn't. At least with Sega, they apologize for their false flaggings, and they've reversed what they're doing. And I know some people are going to say, it's better than false flagging your videos, as I previously said, but here's the thing. If you false flag, if they false flag your videos, why would you want to give them a more appraisal or more viewership? You wouldn't. You'd be like, why should I hype these guys up? Screw them. And that's going to cause their sales to diminish further. Especially with this incident, considering the new, for example, a new Sonic game has been announced for the Wii U. Why would I buy it from a bunch of guys who stole money from me? These Let's Players, most of them have huge fan bases. Millions or thousands of subscribers. So why should they buy their games? And there is one other point I want to address, not really as big, but it's something I need to bring up. And that is this. The complete vagueness of this. Nintendo has not once stated why they're doing this, instead of just doing something like Machinima is doing and getting a cut of it. Two, they have not said how long the videos had to be for it to be okay and when it's not. And three, this is most importantly, what games they can and cannot do. Some articles say that it's the newer games they're only targeting, and some articles say that it's all games they're targeting. Nintendo has not once said that they have decided on it. It would make sense if it's their newer titles, however... Without direct verification, it is completely inconsistent. Overall, this whole thing is complete bullshit. I understand Nintendo has a reason to do this. They have as much as right re of a right reason as anyone would who has the rights to this. But what they're doing is complete shit. They're collecting chump change, and even if they were to start flagging videos down, they would lose a large amount of their audience. Let's players have a huge fan base out of this. And despite popular demand, it is technically free for your worship. You're getting people to buy their products. If they don't buy the products, that's one person. You make millions off of these games. How does one person stop it? Even then, it would be a small minority. That's all I gotta say. So, this is Garaya Wave signing off. And see ya.